Martin 95 here bringing you another episode. In today's episode, we have a technical analysis on ARC here, currently down about 3% for the day, sitting at $2.67. But really quick though, before we do that, let's go ahead and run through the market. Market cap sitting at $326 billion. Today's volume is $15.5 billion. Bitcoin dominant sitting at 42.1. Bitcoin down 2% for the day, sitting just above 8,000. Ethereum down 1%, sitting at 512. Ripple down a percent and a half, sitting at 65 cents. Litecoin down 2%, sitting at 127. Cardano up 15, nice. Lumens up one. Big winners today, Cardano. Big loser, Electronium, Ontology down eight. Verge down eight. Salt, Mixin, Neblio down six. Golem sitting at 40 cents, down almost 5% for the day. But you guys came here for some art technical analysis. Market cap sitting at 272 million. Today's volume 2.3 million, circulating supply 101 million, <clears throat> total supply 133 million. Major exchanges here, Binance, Bitrix, Upbit, Cryptopia, and Litecoin looks like are the only ones I really recognize. Oops. So this is BTC USD on the daily. So this is what I'm, uh, we're in this nice little ascending triangle. Broke out of it, found resistance here at about 8,350. Came back down to test our breakout zone. So what I'm waiting for is a break and close above 8,125 again. Once we do break and close above this level, price should be good to go. However, if we don't hold at this price, expect it to fall. Where do I expect it to fall? Good question. If we don't hold at the level we're currently at, I think we'll come down to this level at 7,500. And what that's going to do is that's going to be the beginning of our uptrend. But again, this is just my personal opinion. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum on the hourly as well. So what we're waiting for is where it says here, we're waiting for the break and close above this level. Once we do get this break and close above 530, should be good to go. But what's most likely gonna be happening here is we'll probably be getting a double bottom, bottom one, bottom two. However, if we don't get uh, our second bottom here, Ethereum will be falling. Let me go ahead and zoom out for you. Expecting Ethereum to actually come back down here to about 475 and then bouncing off the, this level towards the upside. So we'll probably be consolidating in this uh, 525 to 475 zone for a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at Litecoin. Damn, my charts are everywhere. Some of these were on the hourly, some of these were on the weekly. And then this always pops up, I don't know for what reason. What a mess, what a mess. Litecoin here looks like we actually came down to test our channel. We broke, so we broke out of this channel. Looks like this uh, daily candle actually came down to test it for support, or it still is testing it for support. So what we're waiting for actually is a break and close above 133, 135, 135 to be safe. Once we do get that break and close above 135, Litecoin should be good to go. But expect this to kind of hang out here, bouncing off this little, uh, our support here at 120, and then bouncing off the top of our uh, bear, boom little bearish parallel channel that we broke out of. But you folks came here for some ARC technical analysis. All time high here for ARC is at about $11.50, currently sitting at $2.66. So what are we waiting for on ARC? Well, there's a couple of entries we can take here since we are, or we did just bounce off major support. We can wait for our break and close above $2.85. Once we do get that break and close above $2.85, Go ahead, actually switch it over to four hour. Once we get the break and close above this level, folks, on the four hour, arc should be good to go. But if you folks want to catch it off the, uh, the bounce, let me go ahead and zoom out, or zoom in, sorry. If you're trying to get just the absolutely best entry here on arc, this is what I'm kind of expecting. If we do not hold at this level we're currently sitting at, expecting arc to fall to about 240, 250, and from there, solid bounce towards the upside. But again, guys, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. If price doesn't come down to this level, you can actually just wait for it to break above $2.85. and You can get an entry there, or go ahead and zoom in a little bit. If you're a more aggressive trader, you can also take an entry here. Wait for uh, an hourly candle to actually break and close above $2.72.70. 70, 
I'd probably do two dollars and seventy five cents, uh, just because that's a nice psychological number. People like you know tend to uh, trade off you know fives and zeros. They like to keep it even, if you know what I mean. Uh, so wait for that break and close above two dollars and seventy two, two dollars and seventy five cents. Once we do break and close above this level, uh, our should be good to go. But keep in mind, we know there is the potential that we could be falling down to about 250. So where do I see art going in 2018? Let me go ahead and clean this up because my charts are a mess and I'm just trying to keep them as clean as possible. Go ahead and switch over to the daily. Zoom out a little bit. Keep zooming out. First target here for art guys is actually about its all time high at $11.50. And I don't think I put my second target. My second target's a little bit more aggressive. I'm actually putting it over here at about $20. But again, these are just you know my personal targets. You can get out whenever you want, but I'm actually expecting this to happen about four months uh, with into 2019, not 2018. This is my 2018 target. This is my 2019 target up here at $20. But again, guys, it's just my personal opinion. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to re-steam up, vote, comment down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed. You have post notifications turned on. And you give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.